let's look at the transformation and the creation of a data warehouse. Let's look at the full life cycle about what's going on as we're building a warehouse itself. So you can see on the far right hand side we have our operational and our external uh, data that we've been gathering with our transactional based systems. Our first function here, our first job here is going to be the simple extraction of this information. So we build different types of extraction criteria. We build different kinds of pipelines that are designed to go into our operational systems and extract information. This might be something that runs on a nightly basis. It might run once a week. It might run once a month, depending on how critical uh, the information happens to be and what the volume happens to be. So we're going to extract this data out. And as we do this, we're going to perform some data transformation. We're going to look at the information and we're going to do some cleanup on it. Because information that we're keeping in these particular operational systems might not be standardized across all of our applications. So we want to make sure uh, that when we're talking about state code, for example, that everybody's using the same format of the state code. Some places might use a two-digit uh, value, other places might use the postal code, so we need to do some standardization. So this process of data transformation is converting, cleansing, standardizing our data. And then we need to take that information and we need to distribute it into our warehouse structures. So we have designed and created a data warehousing environment that is going to put our operational systems and our operational data into a relational type of world where all of the data has been cleaned and cleansed and is in the proper format. So um, we have gone through a extraction process, we've gone through transformation process, we've gone through distribution process, and now the warehouse is the primary place that we'll be going to gather and extract information. Now around all this is going to be a metadata catalog that we're going to keep track of exactly what we've extracted, where the data has come from, what the relationships happen to be. So if we have any issues, if we have any problems, we'll go back to the catalog, look at the metadata to see where this information has been coming from. It's from the warehouse now that we will define and utilize some type of a client query tool. In our particular case here, we're going to be talking about business objects and how business objects are going to be working. So business objects is going to be our tool set that we're going to use to go in to the warehouse now, extract information, run ad hoc queries, build informational systems, and then from that create a variety of different kinds of reports that we can present back to our customers.